Hey guys, welcome back to The Hide. We have got another upper out on the bench for review today, this time and my first time in 6.5 Creedmoor. This is another one from BCA. They did not send me this, so this was purchased with channel funds. Um, kind of some disclosure here. I did have some issues with this out of the box. I went and tried to side it in and it absolutely would not cycle anything. Stove pipes, I mean, basically every shot. So I was like, well, do I do I take the time to try and send it back in and da 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 And I'm, I've said, the heck with it, I didn't do it. So I decided to look into it myself. Be advised, if you do that, you're probably going to void your warranty. But the price of the upper, I was like, I'll take a chance. You know, let's see what happens. So I pulled the handguard off, pulled the muzzle device off, and, and the gas block was pretty much, um, I'd say maybe instead of being right at 12 o'clock, it was probably at about two o'clock. So there was no gas hardly at all getting back into the gas block and then up into the bolt carrier system. So it was not going to cycle hardly at all. Now, once I did that, I fixed that, tightened everything back up, put it back together, it started running fine. So hopefully we won't have any issues during the review, but we will see. So it's been sighted in. We will get it on the bench and see how it does. I'm gonna shoot four different loads at 110 yards and we'll just kind of see what happens. But this is an 18 inch upper. This is a side charger. So this is my first AR-10 style side charging upper. So that's kind of kind of different. Does have their proprietary spiral flash hider. This is a one and eight twist rifle length gas system, which I'm pretty stoked about that. That's what made me kind of interested about this upper to begin with in that maybe it'll soften the blow a little bit, recoil. And from the little bit of shooting I've done so far, it seems to. So, I'm interested to see what kind of groups we can post at 110 with this thing. So let me go get it on the bench. We'll get some ammo out and send some lead down range, guys. All right, guys. So I've got five rounds of this Winchester white box. So we're going to try five shot group of this at 110 yards first here in top left quadrant. Let's see if we can post a group. We've got our Element Optics Helix HDLR 2-16 to power scope serving duty here. And I tell you, this right here, right now, is definitely my preferred DMR setup. I definitely like the caliber. I'm going to see how, and I'm hoping we don't have any more feeding or ejection issues, but we will see what happens here and go from there. So, let's see what we can do. First shots. All right, so about what I expected with that stuff. Not terrible, I guess, considering what it is. So we did get through all the rounds with no malfunction, so that's a plus. Let's take five of our SIG here. This is the 140 grain OTM. And if you guys have watched the channel for any length of time, you guys know that this is by far my most favorite 6.5 Creedmoor load. These are loaded with Sierra Match King bullets. 140 grain. So I am going to let the rifle cool just a pinch. I mean, it's not really hot just after five rounds, but we'll definitely give it the, the best shot it's got for the most accuracy. We'll uh, let it cool for a minute and get back on it. All right, so let's see what we can do with five of these at 110, guys. All right.
Oh man, I felt that one. That was totally me. All right, well, I think a lot of that is me dealing with that trigger. So this is the this is the same lower receiver that we used in the previous 308 video. I have not done anything with the trigger. I did put on one of the Magpul Light PRS stocks. I, I do like this thing so far. It's about a pound lighter than the standard PRS. Still kind of on the fence about it, but uh, so far I like it. Next up, let's try just some hunting ammo. This is some Winchester PowerPoint. Let's see what the grain weight on this is. 129 grain, so this does have basically just a soft tip. Your basic style of hunting ammunition. Let's try five of these after the barrel cools a few minutes and see what these will do. All right, so let's Cross our fingers and see what happens here. Oh man, them are hitting in the center target. And the last one here. All right, so we're still running 100% on our ejection. That's definitely a plus. All right, so that ended up hitting in the center target. I was actually aiming at the lower left, so that is definitely shooting a little bit off. For our final group, we're gonna shoot some of this 140 grain Winchester match. Shot some of this stuff in the past. It's not too bad. We'll say I cannot believe the price of some of this stuff though. It has gone up astronomically. All right, so we got five of those loaded. Let's let the barrel cool off for a minute and we'll send these down range guys. Okay, so we've got our Winchester in here. Let's see what we can do with these fellas. Oh, they're hitting top right of the target there. Last one of the Winchester. All right, guys, so here is our group with the Winchester white box, the 125 grain open tip, just plinking stuff. So one here, one here, one here. I do not know where the fifth one went. <laughs> that was probably pulled by me. 
Now up here, we had, there's three shots right here, one right here, and I totally pulled that. I felt that one bigger than you can imagine. Uh, I, the, these BCA lowers, whatever trigger that they put in my particular one, man, that thing is sponsored by ShopVac. It absolutely sucks. So I got a feeling once I upgrade this trigger, I'm going to be able to post a lot more consistent group. Getting a consistent feel on that trigger that they included with this one is really, really hard. So I'm giving myself that as my excuse. But otherwise, four shots right there, I'll take that all day long for what this upper cost. Uh, this was our PowerPoint. So this 129 grain stuff, we got one, two, three, four, five here. That is absolutely minute of deer, no question about it. And then over here is our Winchester. This is that 140 grain, 140 grain match stuff. I'd say that's pretty, pretty acceptable. Would like to have had a couple of those, maybe or one or more of those over in this area. But if I could shoot a rifle worth a dang, maybe I could. Who knows? But uh, overall, I I do like this setup. Um, like I said, I did go ahead and put one of the Magpul PRS light stocks on there. You still get the same amount of adjustment, length of pull, and comb height without the added weight. So these are about a pound lighter than your standard PRS stocks. I uh, upgraded the um, grip. That is uh, one of the, the uh, K Magpuls. Again, as I mentioned, this does have a side charging upper. One of my first ones with that, as far as AR-10s go, it's it's definitely different. I do like the, uh, the ability to charge it on the side. That's kind of cool. Um, 18 inch barrel. This one is fluted. The flutes down at the muzzle, those are really kind of decorative. Now, if you take the handguard off, they're a little bit deeper there. So that's definitely a good thing. As I mentioned with the gas system and the gas block, that was kind of a bummer when I first got it. Because, I mean, it would absolutely not cycle at all. However, once I fixed the, the uh, gas block on there, it seemed to have taken care of it. However, as I've shot it a little bit more, as you guys probably seen on the video, I did notice some light ejection or weak ejection. That is probably from that again. So may have to end up either trying to send it back to them or honestly, I'll probably just throw a, a quality gas block and gas tube on it and go from there and see what happens. But uh, pretty slick little DMR setup. The Helix HDLR scope, I mean, that kind of speaks for itself. That thing is absolutely amazing. But um, if you guys got any questions, feel free to post them up below. I think for the money spent, it's definitely something to take a look at it and is definitely an option. You're definitely not going to get anything even remotely close for this price elsewhere for what you're getting. Maybe with the exception of Palmetto. I have not done any of their Creedmoor uppers, so that might be also an option. But please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Please subscribe. We're trying to get the push to 20,000 subs. I cannot do it without you all. If you feel so inclined to support the channel a little bit further, I do have a Patreon. So uh, look us up over there. And as always, guys, shoot straight. Later.